Social media platform Twitter suffered a zero-day vulnerability, which allowed the attackers access to personal information of 5.4 million accounts. The vulnerability was exploited in December 2021, but reported to Twitter through HackerOne's bug bounty program in January 2022. The security researcher was awarded about $5,000 for his findings. The vulnerability allows any party without any authentication to obtain a Twitter ID of any user by submitting a phone number or email, even though the user has prohibited this action in the privacy settings. The vulnerability is now patched and recommended precautionary measures are enabling two-factor authentication and refraining from linking personal information to your Twitter account. This analysis comes from our own security expert, Ava Georgieva. All links and resources are available in the description. Let's dive in to this attack. A zero-day vulnerability is a weakness in software that has been discovered by a threat actor but is still unknown to the developer. It's called zero-day because once a threat actor detects the vulnerability, the software vendor essentially has zero time to patch it before it's exploited. Zero-day vulnerabilities can stem from software bugs, weak passwords, or lack of authorization and encryption. So how did this zero-day attack gain access to the personal information of 5.4 million Twitter users? Well, the vulnerability allowed anyone to submit an email address or phone number, verify it if it was associated with a Twitter account, and retrieve the associated account ID. More technically, what the security researcher Zironovsky reported on HackerOne's bug bounty platform is that this vulnerability allows any party without any authentication to obtain a Twitter ID. This is the equivalent of getting the username uh, of an account. All they had to do was submit a phone number or email, even though the user had prohibited this action in the privacy settings. As he stated, the bug exists due to the process of authorization used in the Android client of Twitter, specifically in the process of checking the duplication of a Twitter account. The security researcher reported the vulnerability in January of 2022, and the company awarded a $5,040 bounty for his findings. Prior to that, the attackers created profiles of 5.4 million Twitter users in December of 2021 and scraped public information such as follower counts, screen name, login name, location, profile picture, URL, and other information. The data was sold on the market for about $30,000. From Twitter's statement, the bug resulted from an update to their code in June of 2021. When they learned about this, they immediately investigated and fixed it. At the time, the company had no evidence to suggest someone had taken advantage of the vulnerability. The researcher in this report expressed that this is a very serious threat, as people can not only find users who have restricted the ability to be found by email or phone number, but any attacker with a basic knowledge of scripting and coding can enumerate a big part of the Twitter user base unavailable to enumeration prior. Such bases can be sold to malicious parties for advertising purposes or malicious activities. In their official statement released on August 5, 2022, the tech giant pointed out that no passwords were exposed, but they encouraged their users to enable two-factor authentication apps or hardware security keys to protect their accounts from unauthorized logins. And for all of the users that have an alias Twitter account, they recommend that not adding a publicly known phone number or email address to the Twitter account would be the best point of action in order to keep their identity as veiled as possible. Lastly, even though most of the data being sold is publicly available, threat actors can use the data exposed in targeted phishing attacks. Because of that, all Twitter users should be aware when receiving emails from Twitter, especially if the email demands urgency and sensitive information, such as asking to enter your login credentials, which users should only be able to do on the official platform. Did you find value in this video? If so, like and subscribe for more content. Or drop a comment below and tell us which attacks you'd like our experts to cover next.